Hello, my name's Dr. Sue Whittle, and I'm a senior lecturer in biochemistry at the University of Leeds. And today in this podcast, we're going to answer the question, how do rehydration salts work? It's no fun having diarrhea and sickness. Most, if not all of us, have had this at some time in our lives. It's a pretty miserable experience, and you can feel really quite poorly for a few days. But for most of us, it passes without the need of any medical treatment, and we're fit and healthy again. However, it can be a very serious condition, particularly for children, or for people who have diseases such as cholera, which cause very severe diarrhea and vomiting. Between 100,000 and 300,000 cases of cholera are reported to the World Health Organization every year, mainly in Africa. But this is likely to be a serious underestimate because reporting is relatively poor. Without treatment, more than 50% of cholera sufferers can die. It isn't the infection that kills, though, but the dehydration that's caused by the loss of water and loss of important chemicals, particularly sodium and potassium ions. This loss is caused directly by the diarrhea and sickness, and a patient with cholera can lose up to a litre of water an hour. Death can take place in as little as 24 hours in severe cases, particularly in children. As the body loses water, the amount of water in the circulation decreases, and that leads to low blood pressure. This means that tissues no longer receive the oxygen they need, and that can lead to muscle cramps, lethargy, confusion, and if untreated, death. Imbalance in the concentration of ions, such as sodium and potassium ions, can cause seizures and heart failure. If dehydration and chemical imbalance can be managed, the patient will often recover without further treatment. It can be remarkably simple to save the life of a patient with severe diarrhea and sickness. Just using these, sachets containing a few simple chemicals, costing just a few pence each. Rehydration salts are significantly more effective in combating dehydration than water on its own. So, what do these sachets contain?